let's talk about the working theory of contact mode. Now, Royal Rife used plasma tubes to send the signal to our body. Now, plasma tubes are good because they can pass through air, pass through bone. Now, we use quite a lot of contact mode nowadays, and contact mode is very, very good again, but it can't pass through bone and it doesn't pass through air. But still, the effectiveness is very good if you can get it to pass through muscle or organ tissue. Because contact mode is so simple, convenient and cheap, it's the most common mode of applying life frequencies today. The equipment is far cheaper than a plasma unit and it's still reasonably effective. Contact mode has got no restrictions for the frequency. Low frequencies can't pass through tissue very easily, but high frequencies can. And so you can select programs that are of high frequencies. Another disadvantage with contact mode is the low frequencies can give it a very strong sensation, almost like a burning sensation, and it can hurt. The higher frequencies don't give this, and so that's another reason for using frequencies that are reasonably high. By high, I'm talking around 20 kilohertz or more. When frequencies are above 20 kilohertz, the signal passes more through each cell. It doesn't pass around the cell as a very low frequency does. As the frequencies get very high, then the characteristics of the signal changes again. But it's all to our advantage. So generally frequencies that are around 1 megahertz, 2 megahertz are good for contact mode. Now, some people are saying, well, what about the skin effect? At very high frequencies, electricity has like a skin effect. If you've got a single conductor in a high frequency, the, only the outer part of the conductor will be conducting electricity, the outer part being called the skin of the conductor. And people think, well, what about us? We've got skin all over our bodies. But this is using the word skin in a different way. At high frequencies, some people have said, well, because electricity only passes through the skin at high frequencies, it only passes through the skin. This isn't true. What it really means is that the electricity passes through the surface of conductors. If the signal is passing through your body, even a high frequency will pass through every single cell in your body. With sufficient power, a well-designed drive machine can deliver electrical energy deep enough into your body to reach all its organs. Some people believe that applying a DC offset in contact mode improves treatment efficiency. We have a Bob Beck protocol and Holder Clark as well. Holder Clark was stating to always keep a positive offset on the signal. Well, the unfortunate thing is with contact mode, if you have an offset, you get an acid buildup on your skin. This can be underneath your hand cylinders or underneath the TENS pads. It doesn't actually matter. You still get this acid buildup on your skin. And it can cause skin damage. And as a result of that damage, it can cause scarring. And it's not very pleasant. You'll find that the Spooky 2 presets generally don't have any offset at all. We do this as a safeguard to prevent skin damage. Royal Rife's treatments relied on frequencies. It didn't rely on a DC offset. And so the frequencies are just as effective with a zero offset. Spooky 2 can apply contact mode in different ways. We've got hand cylinders, TENS pads. We've got silver material wrists or straps or making it very convenient for contact mode. In fact, contact mode treatments can be done for long periods of time safely with zero offset using the accessories that we have.